Oh, well, way, way back before I was on the hospital board, Willamette Falls Hospital Board, of, and, uh, and, and some of the conferences we went to, I got to hear a speech by Jack O'Connell from Hilton Head, South Carolina. So he'd go around the country and give speeches all over about trying to entice communities around the country to form a volunteers and medicine model clinic. Uh, so I'd heard that, heard that talk a, a few years before I retired. And then actually a little ret retirement party they had for me at the hospital. Another one of my doctor friends who volunteered for a while, Dr. Smucker, uh, he whispered to me on the way out, says, go out, go out and found a free clinic on the volunteer and modism, medicine model. Uh, for something to do, and I said, oh, okay, so uh, found some other people that were interested in that, and at the time, the county was actually sponsoring some kind of a underserved healthcare forum they had, it was called Ch uh, CHI, Clackamas Health Access Initiative, and, and uh, what basically said, that CHI organization said, well, we need a free clinic, and kind of, and Jan Hochstetter was involved in that at the time. I think what appealed the most was you utilized volunteers. All of the medical providers are volunteers. Our whole goal was to provide direct medical care to the patient. It's not to, to put the money into administrative costs. We wanted to help provide medical services to the individuals who need it. We worked for over two and a half years. We worked very hard. There were about uh, six or seven of us, but we met every Wednesday morning at seven o'clock for almost two hours, and we did that for two and a half years. So that's how we came up with Clackamas Volunteers in Medicine. 